The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world and contains extremely rich species diversity and natural resources. Our partner countries in the region account for a high proportion of marine territories and more than 80% of residents inherit traditional maritime culture and rely on ocean resources to maintain their livelihoods. In recent years, extreme weather events caused by climate change have disrupted the balance of marine ecology. These events can have tremendous impacts on the marine resources and environmental ecology of small island developing states, with their food security and socio-economic development facing greater challenges than ever. Therefore, how to strengthen the climate resilience of Pacific Island countries while taking local biodiversity and economic development into consideration has become a common goal of contemporary international cooperation and development. Faced with the gradual depletion of marine resources, fishermen are progressively thinking about transitioning to aquaculture to strengthen the food resilience of fisheries and diversify sources of food and high quality proteins. However, the lack of relevant up-to-date skills and adaptation experience makes their road to transformation a lot more challenging. In view of these challenges, echoing the spirit of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 14, conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources, the Taiwan ICDF assisted partner countries in the Pacific region in promoting the aquaculture project. By investing resources in expanding the diversity of local culture species and improving aquaculture technology, this project can not only strengthen the resilience of the aquaculture fisheries in partner countries, but also lay the foundations for the transition from sea fishing to aquaculture replacement fisheries. In addition, the project also provides breeding management guidance and technical capacity building through local cooperating departments. The project also provides capacity building in sustainable aquaculture models for fishermen, including low density farming and rational feeding to reduce negative impacts on the natural environment. The project also focuses on the development and utilization of sustainable marine resources, implementing blue transformation and the restoration of coastal fishery resources. It's a big area and we can develop ponds and has a joint venture between government and the private sector. We formed that and under the Taiwanese guidance improve the farm mm -hmm. and make it come to the level where it is self-sustainable. And then when the private sector will realize it can be done, it is financially viable, economically possible to do it. So we thank uh, ICDF for helping uh, develop uh, tiger swim, rabbit fish, milk fish and sea cucumber aquaculture to replace uh, fishing from the, from the wild and also establish a sustainable aquaculture for food security of Palau. It's a project and we started in 2019 by having these uh, two cases, up to four cases and now we have seven cases. We are uh, planning to do more cases uh, uh, this coming years by the assistance from ICTF. The implementation of this project not only increases the income of local people, but also strengthens the sustainable resilience of coastal fishery resources and fulfills the expectations of island countries in outlining their vision for the blue economy. In the future, the Taiwan ICDF will continue to assist our partner countries in improving people's lives and well-being through various cooperation projects so that we can jointly protect our sustainable and prosperous blue ocean. <laughs>